So we'll set it up and do it all over again with Summer Hayes out on the bench for Jeff Jackson's Fighting Irish. And that stop there by Roulette does tie his career high. Rust able to bank it back up to the point, Tacker. Tying it back for Tacker. Over towards Rust in the middle. He shot, he scores! Brian Rust, an extra attacker goal. This game's tied up 2-2. Two to two. Well, we talked about it from the faceoff, what you have to do. You have to outman them. You have to outwork them. You have to get loose pucks. Exactly what happens here. Three guys get to this loose puck. They finally get puck possession. They move it back to the point, back down low, back to the point again. Now the main Black Bears are running around. And what you see when Russ gets this puck is traffic in front of Ouellette. He never sees this one until it's too late. Back by the glove, into the back of the net. 2-2 hockey game. Good job by Notre Dame to get to a loose puck. And again, to get a guy in front of the net to take away the eyes of the goaltender. Johns gives this over to Tacker. Now Rust walking his way into the zone. Rust dragging it through, getting the shot, he scores! Brian Rust, his second goal in a matter of seconds. The Fighting Irish take a 3-2 lead. Speed, speed for the neutral zone. The puck is dumped down in the Irish zone. They get puck possession of it. And Russ gets the puck at his own defensive blue line. As you see right here, he's got speed. Everybody backs off, allows him to get the offensive blue line. He fakes that he's going to his left. He comes back to his right. Right kind of gets stuck there, not looking, no, not knowing what to do. And he goes up over the glove of Roulette into the back of the net. And that's one that I think that the main is that it's such a good job in their defensive zone and not giving up their defensive blue line. They gave it up too easily. And Russ makes them pay. <laughs>